So let's do another example of finding the center and the radius of a circle when it starts in the general form like this. So it's all about completing the square. We always have to rearrange our terms as well. So we're going to put the x's together. So it's x squared plus 22x. And remember to leave some space for completing the square. And then we've got the y's. So we have y squared minus 30y. And there is another gap for us. And we have to move the constant to the other side. So that's positive 15 over here. Now for completing the square, we know that we're going to add some stuff so that we can take all of these x's and write that as a square. And similarly, we'll have the same thing with the y's. Something y plus something squared. And then we're going to see what happens on the other side of the equation. All right, so first, we have to complete the square. So we do half of 22, which is 11. So we put the plus 11 inside. And 11 squared is 121. So 121 right here. So I'm putting 121 in the gap, which means I must also put the 121 here on the right side as well. And then we'll move on to the y's. So half of negative 30 is negative 15. And when I square negative 15, I get plus 225. And so that's what I'm adding over here to the right side to, to create that balance that we're supposed to have. All right, so these guys are good. And on the right side, let's see what we have. When we combine everything, so let's say it's 225 and 15 is 240. 240 and 121 is 361. All right, so things are set up perfectly to be in that center radius form. My center is going to be, let's see, the opposite of this, like we've been seeing. So it's going to be negative 11. And the opposite of negative 15 is going to be positive 15. And then we need to figure out the radius. So here's what we know about the radius. We know that r squared is equal to that constant on the other side, 361. So r is going to be the square root of 361. Well, fortunately for us, that is a perfect square, and it's just 19. So our, our radius is equal to 19. And that's it.